Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me for today's Heart to Home devotional. Uh, before we get started, let's open in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, uh, we just come before you, Father. We thank you, Lord, for another day of life, Lord. We thank you for this time we just get to spend with one another, Lord, and with you. I just lift this uh, next few minutes up to you, Lord. I pray you are glorified. I pray that you just guide my words, Lord, and you just um, prepare everyone's hearts and ears, Lord, to just get rid of the distractions around them, Father, and just... Um, listen to what you have for us father so uh, we just thank you and praise you and it's in jesus name we pray amen all right so today i want to share something i came across i actually just looked it was back in june and it kind of kept coming to mind after i read it and um but other things came up to share instead so i'm finally going to share it with you guys it's actually in my uh, personal devotional book my billy graham book um and when I came across it, the first time I read it, I got a little teary-eyed, but it really was a neat uh, little story. So I really wanted to share it with you guys. Um, so in the book, um, it's titled Living a Holy Life, but I'm kind of titling this little Devo building materials. So it starts out um, with the verse, chap uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 20. And it says, lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. I'm going to actually continue on with the verse. And it says, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. And so it goes on to give this story. It says, an old man, a great man of God, lay on his deathbed. He summoned his grandson to come to his side. Calling the boy's name, he said, I don't know what type of work I'll be doing in heaven, but if it's allowed, I'm going to ask the Lord Jesus to let me help build your mansion. You be sure to send up plenty of the right materials. And that really like tugged <laughs> on my heartstrings. And it kind of made me wonder like, how did the little boy respond? Like, did he go on to, you know, send those materials up? And so it continues on to say this, living a life of purity and love, leading others to Christ as we share our faith, doing good works in Christ's name. All of these are materials that may be sent on ahead. These can never be touched by the fluctuations on the earthly economy, by natural disaster, or by thievery. What kind of materials are you sending up to heaven? And so we all know, you know, of course, our salvation isn't based on um, good works, but we're still to do them. Ephesians 2.10 tells us, For we are his workmanship, create in Christ, created in Christ Jesus for good work, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. So we're created to do these good works. And the best part of that is as we do these good works, we share our faith, we serve one another, we love one another. Um, he is glorified through those good works. And those um, that are unbelievers around us, they, they see those and that's how he's glorified. And so I just wanted to share that little story with you guys. Um, and as we go through our week, I want us to kind of ponder like, what building materials are we sending up for our eternal home? So let's close in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, again, we just come before you, Father, and we thank you, Lord, um, just for uh, creating us to do those good works. Lord, I pray that you guide us, Lord, and show us um, what to do, Lord, where those good works can be done. Father, I pray that you just put it on our hearts to... Um, just come alongside other people, Lord, those around us, our brothers and sisters in Christ, Lord, and just do what you've created us to do, like it says in your word, Father. So again, we just thank you, Lord. We praise you, and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <music>